Hi everyone, welcome to Dataverse Academy. In this video, we will learn how we can do the incremental load using Dataflow Gen 2. Log into your Microsoft Fabric account, then click on Synest Data Engineering, then click on Workspaces, then select your workspace. So as we know, we are going to do incremental load using Dataflow Gen 2 and we will load the data from Azure SQL DB to our warehouse. So first we need to check what tables we have in our Azure SQL DB. So for that go to your Azure account and uh, here you can see I have created a database and inside this database I have few tables and from one of the table, I'll load the data to our warehouse. So click on tables. This is the table which I'm going to load using incremental load. Let's check the data into this table. Run it. So in this table, we have customer ID, first and last name, email, phone number and address information and load date. So on the basis of this load date, we will do the incremental load. Now go back to your fabric account. Here we need to create the target table in our warehouse. So click on your warehouse. To save our time, I have already designed the create script to create the table. So first I'll create the schema and inside this schema I'll create this target table. Our table is created successfully. Now click on your workspace, click on new then click on Dataflow Gen 2. Give name to your Dataflow. Now we need to load the data from Azure SQL DB. So for that, click on Get Data. Then click on More. And select Azure SQL Database. Here, you need to provide the server name, database name and username and password. So for that, you need to go to your Azure account. Then click on your database. Here you can see the server name. Copy it and paste it here and provide the database name which is salespb. Now provide the username and password. Then click on next. Our connection is created successfully. So here you can see the tables which is inside our Azure SQL DB. So we need to select this table as we are going to load the data from this table. Then click on create. Now for the incremental load, we need to have the maximum load data of our target table. Why? Suppose on the first day you have loaded all the data to your warehouse and the next day you got some new records into your Azure SQL DB and you want to load the new records only. But if you don't have the maximum load date and you run your flow, all the records will be loaded into your warehouse again and you will have the duplicate records. So to load the new records only, we need to have the maximum load date and using the maximum load date, we will load only those records which are new in our Azure SQL database. To get the maximum load date from our warehouse target table, we need to 
click on get data then click on more and click on one link data hub here click on filters and then select warehouse and this is the warehouse in which we are going to load the data click on it here you can see this is our target table in which we are going to load the data select it then click on create now click on load date then click on remove other columns then again click on load date and right click then click on drill down so we have converted our table to list now do right click on this table and disable this now click on your source table which is sales customer and click on load date and drop down click on date filters then select equal to and then click on ok here we need to do some change in our code so remove this null then type greater than list dot max and our list name which is sales underscore stg underscore test then customers and we need to put it under double quotes and put has and suppose if this value is null which is coming from our list so we need to provide the default value for that so which will be 1900-0101 and it should be date so for that we need to use date function dot from and enter so for the first run it will select all the records which is greater than our first of january 1900 now we need to provide the destination so click on this and click on warehouse then click on next and this is the workspace in which we have our warehouse click on it then click on your warehouse this is our target table in which we will load the data so for that you need to click on existing table then select this table and then click on next so you can choose whatever you want to do either append or replace in case of append it will append the data again and again so suppose for the first run you have 10 records and in the sec second run you got uh, two or three new records then it will append and you will have 12 to 13 records and in case of replace it will first remove the data and then it will load it so i'll choose append then click on save settings then click on publish now let's wait for some time because it's in publish mode once it is published it will start loading the data to our warehouse data flow is published successfully now it's loading the data to our warehouse now let's check the data into our warehouse click on your warehouse and write select star from table name 
select it then click on run you can see all the toil records had been loaded successfully now we will schedule our data flow click on your workspace and then click on these three dots and then click on settings and here you can see the refresh click on it then on it and then select your time zone and add time so i'm scheduling it for one in the morning then click on apply then click on your workspace our data flow is scheduled successfully now we will insert new record into our azure sql database table to see whether our incremental load is working or not go to your azure account and inside the database insert new records i am going to insert one new record into our customer table and the load date is 1st of february 2023 click on run and let's check the data you can see customer id 13 is inserted now go to your fabric account and go to your warehouse so here in our customer table we will check the maximum load date select it and run you can see it's 1st of january 2023 so in the second run all the records should be inserted which is greater than our 1st of january 2023 now click on your workspace so this is our data flow which is loading the data from azure sql db to our warehouse so click on refresh let's wait for couple of minute until our refresh is completed our data flow refresh is completed now let's check our warehouse table click on your warehouse and then remove this right select star from our table select it then click on run you can see a new record has been loaded successfully so this is how you can do the incremental load using data flow gen 2 i hope you like the video please do like and subscribe and in case of any suggestion please provide your comment thank you for watching this video